It's time for the Carolina Cup Final featuring the Warriors Hockey Club and the Naperville Hockey Club for a second straight season. The Warriors come in winners of the last six, but can Naperville play the role of spoiler? It's Naperville on the attack early, but Sean DeVogg stops Broden Oswald's shot for the save. Warriors go the other way, and Finnegan O'Toole sets up Max Allman who scores to give the Warriors a 1-0 lead. The Naperville defense makes a stop, and then Andrew DePorter finds himself in a 3-on-1. He passes to Gavin Essler, but Marcus Palmertz and the Warriors again turn Naperville away. As for the Warriors, they build off that momentum in the second period. Michael Chenier is all alone and jukes out the goalie for the Warriors' second goal of the game. NHC finally catches a break with Owen Wilkie, whose shot deflects off the goalie but has enough power to go in, and we have a one-goal game. The goal feels Naperville because Sam Carlton is ready to stop the Warriors' attack. We go into the third period, still 2-1 Warriors, but then Travis Holup unloads a wrist shot for the equalizer, and this game is tied at 2. With seconds left in regulation, the Warriors hope to get one through, but time runs out, so let's go to overtime. In the extra period, the Warriors are on the attack, but Carlton continues his strong defensive performance and keeps it deadlocked. For Naperville, an open Broden Oswald gets the pass and lasers that shot into the net for the game-winning goal. After years of Warrior dominance, it's the Naperville Hockey Club capturing its first ever Carillon Cup title after a 3-2 overtime win. I just got a lucky break. I, I got fortunate to get to the far blue and, my, and Jack Gilbertson, our captain, made a hell of a pass and you know, I just had a berry from in between the hashes and I, I got it. This is a huge game for us, probably, I mean, the biggest game we're going to have pretty much all season. Uh, it's a really huge thing for us to win today. I mean, Wabonzi's a really tough team. It was a, it was a battle the whole time, so. We just played our game. Um, it was just one, two, three, you know, easy as that. Uh, we didn't really get over our heads. I had Wyatt Frank Core out there helping me out, getting big. Uh, if it wasn't for Ryan Walsh, you know, Jay Kistler, not enough guys I can shout out, Owen Wilkie. You know, we don't get back into this game, so everyone played their role tonight. Defense, offense, myself, coaches, everyone played their role. 